What kind of guitar is that, Mitch? It looks like it grew a bit. This is a long guitar. It's, um... Is it from Texas? It was in the factory longer before uh, it was let go. No, this is a, uh... Music Man Baritone, the silhouette model. This guitar is really cool. Um, I use this guitar a lot in the studio. Um, every once in a while there's just a track that just needs that cool... It's not quite a bass, it's not quite a guitar. Um, it's very piano-like in the sense that it, it rings forever, it sounds huge. And um, commonly, I guess, what it's used for is to color in between the lines of what a guitar can't do and what a bass can't do, I guess. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll double bass lines just to make it sound really fat. Um, you have to be careful in the sense that obviously you don't want to necessarily follow the bass at all times in the song, maybe in a chorus to thicken it up, or an intro, and then um, typically in the verses what I might do is just find a spot for it, maybe it's just a, you know, totally depends on the song, um, and again, the, the tough part about the berry is not emulating too much of what any one instrument is doing. So it's finding a little niche for it and man this guitar really stands out in the mix. It, it sounds great. Um, so now tuning wise it's tuned exactly the same as a six string guitar just an octave lower? I don't know. Is it? Beth just sent it to me and I took it out of the thing and the case and started using it. Thanks Beth. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> I think Ernie Ball offers it in an E to E and an A to A, and I believe this is the A to A model. Let's just check it. Nope. Yeah, yeah. it's the A to A model. <laughs> good salesman I am. <laughs> it just sounds good. Pick it up and play it. Who cares?